Are we live? So uh, thank you very much for selecting Locus as a showcase company. We're really privileged to be here today uh, and very thankful for the opportunity. Um, I'm going to start by describing a bit of the problem that we're trying to address. And um, it starts with, I think, the best way to open this up is to show some recent information from the World Health Organization on antibiotic resistance and the rise of multi-drug resistant strains of pathogens. And so we were certainly surprised with a bunch of this data, um, and you may be surprised as well, but even as early as last year, up to 85,000 people a year are now dying from multi-drug resistant pathogens. And they're dying in pretty much every nook and cranny of the world. Um, some of the baddest of the bad, things like Cree or hospital superbugs, are at this point at resistance levels that are as high as 50%. But probably more scary are some more common bacteria like E. coli or staph are now starting to get to the 20, even 30% resistant levels. And so that spawned the WHO to project that by the year 2050, over 10 million people may die from MDR infections. Uh, it's, it's somewhat hard to believe, and I think those of us who are in science would, would disagree because we believe that breakthrough technologies will open up an ability for us to combat this threat. And of course, that's exactly what Locust Biosciences has been able to discover. So Locust Biosciences is developing a suite of DNA-based precision medicines based on breakthrough technology called CRISPR-Cas3. And you may be very familiar with Cas9. Almost everybody in our field is familiar with Cas9 because of the revolution that it's created in gene editing. But Cas3 behaves differently. It behaves like a Pac-Man. And it uses the same specificity to be able to go in and, and address a bacteria cell by its DNA. And it recruits this enzyme which behaves like a Pac-Man, which unzips, unwinds, and systematically destroys a single strand of DNA around the entire genome of a bacteria cell. And because we're building drug products in bacterial targets, phages become our delivery vector of choice. And so the company has developed a way through synthetic biology to essentially weaponize bacteriophages. We can open up the genome of a bacteriophage and embed the CRISPR-Cas3 payload, which essentially enables us to make cocktails of these phages, which we can send into any area of the human body, be it the gut, be it the lungs, skin. We're even working on an IV route of administration to attack systemic infections. And so we're taking this technology and we're first attacking a lead indication in Clostridium difficile. We're actually after recurrent CDI. And we love this indication because we firmly believe that it'll prove that the Cas3 mechanism of action can reach into the human gut and selectively kill C. diff bacteria alone, leaving the rest of the microbiome completely untouched which many scientists would agree should create an opportunity for a cure for recurrent CDI. And we're going to take that technology and we're going to move it into a second indication for cystic fibrosis-induced pseudomonas. And the reason we like that indication is because we know that bacteriophage have the natural ability to bore through biofilm. And so as a whole is made by the phages, natural lytic ability, it enables the Cas3 enzyme to enter the target cells, bind to the target pseudomonas uh, bacteria, and kill that cell. And uh, you might ask, well, why wouldn't you do what they did in Cas9 and actually try to port this thing over in the human cell? And we agree. And so one of our co-founders, Charlie Gersbach from Duke University, a name that many people here might be familiar with, is leading the charge for Locus to port the type 1 Cas3 technology from bacterial targets over into human cell. And we look forward to being able to address threats in the antiviral space where we may be able to actually use that same mechanism of action to go in and chew down the DNA inside of a virus. And so who are we? Uh, a great segue into this is uh, we discussed a bit about Charlie. Let's talk about Rodolf Berengu for a minute. 
So Rodok Barangu is the core scientific firepower behind Locust Bio. Um, you may recognize that name. Uh, Rodoff has received over the past year, at this point, four or five awards alongside Jennifer Daldna and Feng Zhang for his seminal contributions to the CRISPR-Cas9 revolution. And it was at his labs at DuPont 10 years ago that they discovered what CRISPR-Cas really is, and that is that it's a bacteria cell's immune system. And he spent the better part of a decade really working on how to industrialize applications for CRISPR-Cas from agriculture to human health. And Locus is the lucky recipient of all of his technology that he's brought to bear since rejoining NC State since 2012. And so the three of us collectively believe that we have some pretty distinct competitive advantages in bringing drugs to market with this technology. Not the least of which is that we're the first to market on CRISPR-Cas3. We're using that technology to address serious and unmet needs as designated by the FDA, which should give us preferential treatment and speed through the clinic and to patients. Rodoff and Charlie, in our opinion, are clearly two of the top 10 CRISPR scientists in the world. And uh, we actually firmly believe that phage is an advantage for us. Most people look at it as Eastern Bloc technology, most people don't like it because they don't believe that you can patent it, but we've solved that problem through synthetic biology. And so between the CRISPR-Cas3 payloads and the bacteriophage delivery vectors, we believe we have one of the most uh, powerful CRISPR-Cas estates in the world. And we've been able to confirm that with three successive freedom to operate analyses done by two law firms, the last of which was Cooley. And so in summary, we believe that Locus is uh, the group that are the CRISPR-Cas3 pioneers. We do have five global patents with exclusive rights to all fields of use. We're currently seven employees working on three human health indications in infectious disease. And we've been able to complete 50 preclinical studies where we've been able to systematically prove that we can rescue pathogenically infected mice. Uh, we've raised $3.2 million to date, and we're located right here in RTP. And in closing, I'd just like to say that we do believe at Locus that we're standing uh, on the precipice of potentially transforming human medicine. And if we're able to replace broad-spectrum small molecule antibiotics with DNA-based precision smart bombs, we may very well be in the position to eradicate the global threat of multidrug resistance. And with that, I thank you for your time.